barking beavers, we're back in here. Let's see what we find. The campground has a small but nice shower house and restrooms, and it has a dump station. The sites are just uh, water and power, but it's a good place. I liked it. Yep, another London broil. This is day two here. Very rustic, very quiet. I'm about three miles from Lake Superior. This is Port Wing, Wisconsin. Um, how rustic it is, is there's about 25 tent sites and a dozen um, powered sites, electric sites. Very nice. Um, when I first got in, right behind me pulled the owner, Vicki, very nice lady. And within five minutes of getting here, I was helping them unload a 500-pound uh, log splitter. <laughs> so uh, you're made to feel welcome pretty quickly. Great people. Great price. Um, I'll try to do some more on it, but i got to get back to the RV now. Basically no cell signal and no Wi-Fi. This is, and it gets really dark here at night, <laughs> but it's cool. wasn't in love with the... Uh, gravel road. It was a couple, three miles of gravel road, so I drove slowly. And hey, what are you going to do? <laughs> it's nice. Most of it was level. I got a good spot there. And the tent section's back there. I'll take you back there. And again, she just opened this camp not very long ago, and uh, a fellow camper told me that she did pretty decent this summer, but it's pretty much empty now. I think there's three of us here. 18 bucks a day. Full power. Alright, YouTubers, it was uh, housekeeping day. Went a couple days extra, but clean sheets. Cake, what are you doing under there? Let's see if Vinny wants to go outside. You're walking on Wisconsin ground. Huh? Huh? No, no, no. Don't go under. Don't go under. Do not go under. No under. You want to go back in? Huh? Your picnic table over there. Don't make me throw this camera down. I have to chase you. You want to go back in? Grass? You haven't been outside since you were astray, really. Not without being in the tent. I opened the back door at my house and he bursts into the bathroom and hides behind the toilet. There's any outside. Kind of a neat little touch here. I'm gonna put some uh, herbs in here. That's an old toilet. And down here, thyme, lemon thyme, sage, marjoram, tarragon, rosemary. Basil or basil if you're British. Nice little touch here. The camp. This is the tent area. Playground and a covered area. Picnic table when it gets too hot. It's warm today. The playhouse for the kids. And she's a lot of decent size space for tents. She doesn't have people crammed in. And the, uh, my fellow camper, I was talking to him this morning. He's been here a couple, three weeks. I think he's kind of helping her out and stuff. He was the one I helped take the, uh, log splitter out of the back of the pickup truck. But, uh, says she's doing all right with it. 
And uh, so during the summer, did pretty good on the weekends, a little bit. Obviously, there's nobody here now during the middle of the week, but these are the kind of places you hope do well because, you know, just independent. She's always wanted to do this, and she's doing it. Gives a good deal to people. Wants to make enough money but not have it crowded at the same time, if that makes sense. So, if you get up here, check it out. Rail down here, so let's see what I can find. No bouncing. Just got a little picnic area set up here in the woods. On all the birch back there. Mini fire ring. Nice. Really nice people. I hope it works out. Campsite, my bad. But for those of us that think, uh, yeah, I'd love to run a campground. It'd be great. It'd be wonderful. It's a lot more work than we realize. So I'm told. Okay. I've walked far enough to find out there's a few more mosquitoes than I want to deal with today. So that's enough. <laughs> Have a great and wonderful day, YouTubers. I will say, if you do get in the Port Wing area of Wisconsin, this was a very nice campground at a good price. I recommend.